Phuket is the premier travel destination, and it was the first to open to the world after the COVID lockdown in 2021. I was there under the Phuket sandbox scheme early in 2022. In July, Thai government removed all COVID restrictions, and I went to Thailand and Phuket again. At the time, Patong Beach was quiet, foreign tourists were few and far in between. Bangla Walking Street was not as busy either. Everything was still very cheap. So, I predicted that the 22-23 season in Thailand will be a little busier than previous year, but not by much. It would still be a buyer's market. But I discovered how wrong my prediction was in terms of Phuket, when I got here in February 2023. The beach was packed with foreign tourists, who flooded Bangla Road at night as well. According to statistics, Phuket hotel occupancy rates reached 88%, higher than 2019's 86%. That means Phuket tourism industry has fully recovered from the pandemic. The top foreign visitors were not from China, but India and Russia. The full recovery of Phuket's tourism industry is a good thing, but it also caused travel cost explosion. First and foremost, the hotel cost. In previous two trips, I stayed in Royal Paradise Hotel and Spa, a four-star hotel with fabulous location, five minutes walk to Bangla Road and Beach. My room was spacious with partial ocean view. It cost me 22 US dollars per night. Great deal indeed. At the time, Phuket hotel occupancy rate was only 16%. This time when I arrived in Phuket in February, I could not get into this hotel, it was fully occupied. A week later, when it became available, it would cost 240 US dollars per night. That was unbelievable to me, especially compared to Bangkok's situation. In Bangkok, I stayed in one of my favorite hotel, Holiday Inn at Sukhumvit 22, also a four-star facility with fabulous location. I paid 68 US dollar per night, which was $20 more than it was before. How could the same kind of hotel in Patong cost three times more? And Bangkok's occupancy rate in January and February 2023 was 72%, second highest in history. In comparison, Phuket's hotel price seems to be extraordinary high, is it not? Food cost increased as well. This sushi restaurant on Second Road is full, people have to take a number to wait. The next door restaurant 6 is also full, even this McDonald's is busy. People are everywhere in Patong. Last time I had pan-fried dumplings here, 100 baht for 12 pieces. This time, 100 baht for 8 pieces. In a few months, street food in Phuket went up 30%. One of my favorite place to eat in Patong is the food court in Central Mall. I ordered a roasted duck with rice, and barbecue pork on noodle. They taste as good as ever, and the meal cost 200 baht. In Bangkok, I had a roasted pork on rice, plus a noodle soup. The quantity of the meal was more than that in Patong, equally testy, but it cost less than 100 baht. So, are you now convinced that the cost explosion in Phuket in last a few months was extraordinary?